Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Monday. We're Whoa. back. We're going to make it a great week, everybody, Welcome right? Welcome back from Florida, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good to be back. Had a little bit of a high school reunion and yeah. some college football. And so it was a great weekend. Yeah, that's nice. Thanks. And the Florida weather. That was pretty nice here. You know yeah. That? Yeah. We've had great weather. It's going to get a little yeah. warm this week. We'll hear more from Howard in a little bit, but we're excited to be here. I'm Kristen Brissett Harris. This is Ellen Bryan, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had a great weekend. We want to start off our Monday with some the morning mix. So Ellen, you're up this morning. What you got? This is one we've talked about with Instagram before, but now we're talking about Facebook. The social media giant is starting to hide likes. The program, uh, they've started the pilot program, excuse me, in Australia, and it's going to work like this. You can see how many likes your own post gets, but you can't see how many likes someone else posts gets. Uh, Facebook says this is to help alleviate social media comparison and also help the negative effects that social media, as we talk about so often, is having on mental health. Do you think that hiding the likes is going to hide the comparison we do of other people's lives on, <laughs> on social media? I think maybe a little bit. Um, I do remember there was a time uh, my husband and I were covering the same thing and we posted the same photo but different yeah. captions and his got a ton and ton of likes. I'm like, what's wrong with my post? Right. Why is my post right. not getting? Like, I got half as much. I mean, I think it just is, it could. I think it's a matter of if you really look at that stuff right you know i mean is that super important i mean i do always look at all the likes i get i don't really always look at what everybody else is getting i think it could be a problem for the people who buy fake followers to especially businesses mm. who show i'm so popular my product is so popular but then when you look at the likes you're like oh they bought they don't have thousands right. of followers because they're getting 29 likes per post so you could always weed out the companies that did it that way but from a comparison standpoint i hate looking at like for some reason i can't stop it it's part of uh something that it's, goes through my head when right. i look at other people and what they're posting the comparison yep. thing so personally i think <laughs> it will be great I well, think. you talk about the business side of things i mean i would think if a, if a company is looking whether it's an influencer or whatever they're going to look at your timeline and see what the posts are yes now they can't right like they they have to vet like the they'll companies see the, are post, gonna, they'll see the post but the, so the companies are gonna have to work harder to see who's actually yeah but but to your point it'll help them vet and and be better because they have to do their due diligence instead of just saying well ellen's got 1000 likes on this but this christian yeah. girl she's only got like 500 so yeah but it, and that's so much today is based off of what your social media game is like like huh. smiley face tough. sad face yeah yeah, because they have those emojis. I wonder, right. are they going to get rid of those too, I, I guess? I don't know. You don't, don't see. By the way, did you see Facebook is on one hacker way? Did you see that address? Oh, really? No. Way. I thought it was funny. That's okay. interesting. <laughs> okay, well, this is a great story because trending this morning, Oprah Winfrey, she surprised students with a major donation. She announced a more than $1 million donation to help minority students pay for college, which is awesome. Oprah stunned the crowd while speaking at a luncheon, actually the 17th annual Maya Angelou Women Who Lead Luncheon and Charlotte on, uh, in North Carolina on Saturday. She promised to match the more than $1 million raised at the event by the United Negro College Fund. Now, the money gives scholarships for students in the Charlotte area to attend historically black colleges, and Oprah's donation brings the total amount raised to $2.3 million. You get a scholarship. You get a scholarship. You get a scholarship. I've seen the video. I love that woman. She's so excited. Oh, they're so happy. I love that. Look yeah. how beautiful they all look. Oh, there goes Oprah's hat. <laughs> Not so much for that. That is yeah. amazing. And I love hearing, we've seen so much of that. And you think about just the struggle some people have just to go to a college and get scholarships. Um, we saw that during graduation where the, the self-made millionaire relieved yes, all the debt. It reminded me very much yeah. of that. And right. so it's just giving our young kids the opportunity to get the education, get the life experience that they need of being mm -hmm. in college, and then setting them out into the world without any debt is just the most yeah. like miraculous thing somebody right. can do. Something you don't have to worry about. And with right. us having Howard here locally too, I mean, that's a big source of pride for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a huge historical site and we talk about it often. And so I think that's great to be, hopefully maybe some of the students will come here. Yeah, uh, come on to, to DC. Well, yeah. we, I just love that they, they have this fresh 
a wide open path to their future now. Yeah. So great yeah. job, Oprah. Yes. Everybody yes. gets scholarships. <laughs> All right, Kristen, this is something near and dear to our hearts. Uh, Rent the Runway, they have put a pause oh. on new clients. The billion dollar clothing, rental clothing company, uh, they, about half of our staff uses it, right? Kristen oh, yeah. and I have used oh, it. Yeah. I have a skirt on from them today. <laughs> has stopped accepting new customers. This is because of delayed and canceled orders uh, existing customers have been experiencing, which is true. We have all been experiencing yeah. this. They are offering $200 to customers who did not receive their rentals. And then I got an email last week that said they're going through so much growth. I think it's just exploding. We're seeing so many people renting their clothes. No one wants to keep it anymore. We got an email last week that said, you're going to go, even the existing customers, we're going to go through some bumps. Things are going to take longer to get to you. Yeah. It used to be a day and you get your clothes and now it's like, couple days well we're so blessed to be here not only because there's a store here but even right. just on the east coast because it comes from what new jersey right. i think is their mm -hmm. warehouse so we do get things in a day but you were saying one of your friends in dallas like it'll be yeah. two three days so you're paying that monthly subscription fee which is supposed to be oh you can wear as much as you want get as much as you want right but if it's taken three four days then it's kind of like your money's you're not getting your money's worth right i i got the system down where i stop by the store and i dress, like i never wear my yeah, own you're clothes good on air that. i love it i love this service so i think it will be better in the end we have to go through the growing pains it, you see, you always see that with the, um, companies that grow so fast, yes. but also subscription services are everywhere now. It's really a lot of fun to yeah. be able, especially with Rent the Runway, because it's high designer stuff you would never be able to right. afford on your own. Right. And also stuff that maybe are a little out of your comfort zone. And so yes, you, you get to try something, yeah. and if you don't like it, because people critique what we wear on air, I'm like, you don't have to commit oh, that's to okay, it. that's okay, because it's not really mine. Yeah. I'm giving it back after the show. I love it. So, hey, uh, I know you just were on a plane coming back from Florida, traveling with a baby. You don't have a baby, but it can be stressful. But some of that stress, oh my gosh, uh, it's annoying to the people right. that are sitting around the baby, right? Uh, Japanese airline is taking this into consideration by introducing a seat map that will alert you to where the babies will be sitting so you can easily avoid them. How many times, and I fly Southwest all the time because that's easy to Florida. How many right. times do you walk by an aisle, you're like, okay, there's a kid, I'm going to keep on going. I had one kid I sat sit next to once this poor woman she was by herself you could young mom you could tell she was stressed and the plane was really really hot before we even took off the baby got sick oh no all over the floor and she was so embarrassed yeah and, and thankfully like i was in the middle of the woman next to me it didn't matter it was fine the baby didn't cry the whole at all but you just know from the, the mom is just like so, so embarrassed stressed. and stressed out i just doing feel it all bad for them and once i've flown a lot with my sister my niece is two now and we were taking her to ohio we were flying back and forth and it's stressful for it's the stressful. parents i just feel bad for them but i know people get super annoyed well i love this I, I, this is kind of interesting because they they will put a little baby icon on the seat yes. when you're picking your seats. Right. So you can see, oh, there's a baby back there. I might go up five <laughs> rows ahead. But also for other parents, you could go yeah. back and sit with other parents that have so kids. Then they could play with each yeah. other. And you got a little community of yeah. people helping you. Oh, so, that's a positive way to look at it. I like it. <laughs> I'm trying. Like it's too. a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. If, do you follow JLo on Instagram? She posted a lot this weekend. Yeah. I was looking at some of her pictures. Uh, the hottest couple, as we know, on the planet right now. You have J-Lo right. and A-Rod, and they had their engagement party this weekend. They have their upcoming nuptials with Aww. family and friends. They were celebrating them, though, at this engagement party in Los Angeles. It's actually been six months since he proposed, and they don't have a wedding date. Everyone keeps saying, when will the wedding What's be? Wedding? And the couple even said, even this weekend, they're still not sure. You really think they're going to tell us? Tell the public. They'll oh, probably that's have a one good of those, point. like, hey, come to my 50th birthday party, and then it's a big wedding, wedding celebration. Yeah. Can we talk about J-Lo for a second? She is on fire yes. right now. Yep. The Super Bowl, she just launched the fragrance. We saw right. her with her uh, Versace dress walking yes. the, cat the catwalk at 15 her years old. Her new movie. Her new movie that is has doing the really Oscar well. buzz. I mean, yeah. talk about... Yeah, an amazing midlife well. moment with her. Oh, yeah. She's fabulous. Yes, she is fabulous. Well, I love seeing Follow the two her on Instagram. Okay. Pictures this weekend were All incredible. Right. We'll be back with more great day after this.